Hey, hey friends, this is Wendy with Canon Planet. Welcome back to our weekly Jive series where I am going through each of the weekly options that Tula 12 has available and sharing with you how I have used that particular insert, my thoughts and feelings about it, and all the things. So I am a direct sales planner coach helping mompreneurs, direct sellers, small business owners, and network marketers be able to build goals, develop habits, and manage their tasks to take back control of their 24 hours by using it paper planner. So in this series, we've been talking about different weekly layouts that you can use for managing your tasks and for doing all the things that you have to do. Let's take a look at what today's session is about. So welcome to Weekly Bujo Volume 1. If you do not know Bujo, which is B-U-J-O, stands for Bullet Journal, we have two versions at Tula 12 at, at the time of this recording, and hopefully you've had a chance to take a look at both of them. This is the first version that Tula 12 created. It has the flag at the top and then some horizontal boxes indicating each of the seven days of the week, as well as space around the boxes to be able to specialize in however you want. So what I'm sharing with you is out of the... Uh, tour, the Tula 12 tour weekly sampler that the uh, customers and brand ambassadors got there. And in this insert has all kinds of weekly spreads. So let me show you what this actually looks like in person in, uh, in action. So that one I showed you was a medium. This one is also a medium. Again, ones that I have done in the past. Obviously, this is holiday related. So you can see how I've utilized using washi tape, stickers. I've created to-do lists and to-buy lists on the side. I've added different sticker elements to be able to denote what I want to do for tasks. Again, lots of different washi tape options. Lots of time and space for you to be able to create it how you want, which is what I love about the Bujo versions, regardless of whether it's volume one or volume two, there's lots of opportunity to really make it your own because there's so much free and empty space that you can fill in with all kinds of things. So you can just kind of see here some different ways that I utilize this particular planner. And I want to show you from a business aspect in the larger version. So this is an extra large version and what I used back in March of 2024. I can tell you that this is not one of my favorite ways to plan because I feel restricted with the lines being horizontal. Now, if you're a horizontal planner, that's fantastic. This will work great for you. I am 100% a vertical planner. I don't care how you lay it out. If the columns go up and down, I am all for it. So this is um, a layout that I did, again, back in March to put together some plans for my personal business. So you can see I did have the ability to write in some space. I had the opportunity to utilize this as my task list. And then I just incorporated the daily tasks that I had on the particular day of the week. What you will notice here is that when I'm doing my weekly planning, and you will see this with any of the, the spreads that I use, I like to write what I got done on each day of the week, even though I have a broad uh, indication of what I want to get done. I like to fill those in where I actually get them done so that I can start to see a pattern and where I notice that I will begin to start fitting things in on a regular basis. I seem to do the same things over and over again on the same days. So you'll notice I do a newsletter on Monday, a newsletter on Wednesday, a newsletter on Friday. Um, Friday, I tend not to work a whole lot because my husband is home. So there isn't usually very much included here. Mondays and Thursdays are usually my biggest work days because I have the most amount of energy on Monday and a deadline on Thursday. And so that's usually how I will see things ending up for for my own personal planning. But again, I love the spread. There was plenty of room for me to write notes over here on the column if I wanted to. I could have decorated this up a little bit more if I wanted to. But I just wanted to share with you guys today the different layouts that you can use with this bullet journal volume one and the opportunity that you have to be very creative in how you utilize this particular insert. 
All right, you guys, thanks so much for hanging out with me. If you found this information helpful, please feel free to share it out and I'll see you all next time on our weekly Jives planning series. Bye friends.